are you a book editor looking for more income streams then exploring income streams for book editors is for you which is this video right here and we're going to look at diverse ways that book editors like myself and maybe you can earn more including things like consulting coaching online courses all of plethora of income generating activities that i have done and mastered and i, I can tell you for free pays i'm going to explain them in this video are you ready now let's go this is a podcast style for a reason because i want to take time to dig into this aspect and i hope you are ready book in hand pen in hand or are you using your notepad whatever okay so let's go Whether you're a seasoned editor or just starting, there are a lot of opportunities that will help you boost your income. The first segment is traditional editing roles. If we are looking at traditional editing roles, which is the usual, an editor, I proofread, I development editing, copy editing, proofreader, you're likely already familiar with this, which is working with others to refine and polish their manuscript after they are done writing. But have you considered specializing? That's the question here in this segment. Focusing is on a specific genre or on a specific industry on this, or a specific thought leadership field where you want to edit, like say you're a sci-fi editor or you edit non-fiction specifically or you, or you edit academic text. It can make you the go-to editor in that niche and it will command a lot of higher rates for you potentially. You can actually charge higher than the conventional because they know that you're a specialist in a field. So this is for the usual traditional editing that we do. Specializing in a field will help you. You know a few Nigerian editors who are doing well already who even on their pages on Facebook you see non-fiction editors so that you know what you're looking for you know when you're coming right i love that number two we're going to look at is consulting services how can that add to your bottom line i've done a lot even just this afternoon i was able to consult for a guy who represents an organization who their major issue was about their books not selling in that sense on an international platform and so i gave them more like my tips on what to do to make that better so moving away from traditional editing into consulting now as another stream of income how to look at it is this i don't know why but a lot of editors don't look at offering consulting services what is consulting services right when you offer things like manuscript evaluation so you're not just editing it you're reading the work entirely to advise the author on certain things on structure content style marketability all of that lecture of techniques so that they can make informed decisions so manuscript evaluation helps now for people who are self-publishing authors guiding them step by step what they need to do whether in their marketing even in publishing recommendations so that they, they get their work off the ground faster less expensive best quality and all of that and their thoughts are intact also look at other people you can consult for are publishing houses themselves so they usually have all of these internal you know issues with editors or writers and you can come in to tell them how to manage their whole business area you know it's something that you need to consider because your expertise in the industry is so valuable so many people who are just employed in publishing organizations really don't have that industry experience you have had as somebody who is a business owner doing your own thing right so you position to help advise them or train their staff even on best practices and trust me up publishers and authors are willing to pay for these insights and for your advice because nobody wants to make mistakes really so think about aspect that you are very good at there's some people that are when they look at a book when they read it even from the blob they are able to tell that you know something needs to be fixed it's not just on the grammar and error spotting aspect but on the thought they are even able to tell whether something can implicate the client in the future legally you know all of those things are very important as so you can make yourself a consultant in that sense the third segment is coaching 
which is my aspect that I love. I love to teach, I love to coach, I love to help people achieve the result they set out for themselves. So is there another avenue for making money? This is where you mentor aspiring editors or writers and you offer one-on-one -on -one coaching services. So they come to you one-on-one, -on -one, they pay for your hours and you, tell, and you coach them through any area that they have need. Right? You can also do group workshops. You can also do online webinars. You can also, you know, there are different aspects. You can also do online courses. The idea is share your knowledge about the editing process the, or the editing business or the publishing industry or the best practices in editing, whatever aspect you think you are good at, gotten a lot of experience. Like my online course comes from my over 14 years experience as an editor and I don't play with that course, right? So it's my signature course and I poured literally my heart into it. <laughs> yeah. So yes, it is so key. This not only helps others to grow, but it also establishes you as an authority in your field. So think about coaching other people. Part four is create online courses. I make sure it's in person. Online courses and webinars. Creating online courses is a fantastic way to generate passive income because you create it once and you just keep marketing it and opening it up every other time, any time of the year you want. You can also make it an evergreen. I mean, it keeps selling, right? You keep marketing it all year round and keep getting people to sign up. So you can use the editing expertise to create courses on topics like fundamentals of editing, advanced editing techniques, you know, navigating the publishing process, what you should do before you call yourself an editor. <laughs> you know what I mean? There are lots of things you can teach no matter the aspect if you know how to navigate that but you can also use platforms like udemy teachable seller ig seller and i love it right so don't shy away from it another aspect that you can make money is writing and selling your own books can you let me know why you haven't written a book in this business that you've been doing writing your own book is one way to make more income have you considered it you have a wealth of knowledge that is valuable to other people. So write a book about editing, the art of storytelling, or even a memoir on your experiences in the industry. Just be creative about it. Self-publishing or finding a publisher can turn your insights in that book into an additional revenue stream. Trust me, do I need to be liberal this? No. The final segment I want us to look at is affiliate marketing and partnerships. I haven't seen a lot of writers and editors do this and i think that this is very key as an editor you likely use various tools and resources but why not partner with the companies that make these resources and promote their works and their products to your own network you can earn a commission for every sale that you make to your own referral so it's a great way to earn by simply sharing the resources you already love and use so why not go ahead the books you've written the ones you've edited the online resources, the AI tools you're using, your domain name company, you know, think about it. So if you found this episode helpful and you want more insight into building a successful editing business, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and like this video now for our exclusive editing business tips. Always join the gang is free and let's talk later. Happy editing money.